The shooting started at 7 a.m. as snipers fired from surrounding apartments. The panic started. Problem. Yeah, big problem. Yes, yes. Look, look. For 30 minutes, all were pinned down as the assault grew closer. Shots coming in and going out. In Rabah Mosque, what was a refuge for women and children, became a place filled with fear. Inside the Rabah Mosque, which until a few hours ago was a shelter for women and children, has now become a makeshift hospital. And while we've been here, we have seen dozens of injured and several dead people being brought in, many the victim of gunshots. With the first lull in fighting, the wounded began to arrive, and then the dead. There were also lots of birdshot injuries, walking wounded, filled with anger. You must tell all the world what we have suffered from. We have suffered from killer, killers, just the killers, just the killers. Soon enough, the number of casualties were so overwhelming, people were treated where they lay. The media centre became a makeshift hospital for the seriously injured. Dozens of wounded, all gunshot victims. A triage of sorts with precious little to treat them. Our camera, a focus for these people's fury with the military and their message for the outside world. We are saying that our president is mercy, that we are calling for legitimacy. This is our point of view. That's why they are killing us. This is, this is, this is, not, this is not legal. They are, they, are in, they, are, they are in a war. It was expected, but few were prepared for it. Simon McGregor Wood, Al Jazeera, in Rabah Mosque, Nasser City.